Um, you have a map in front of you, which also includes the most recent annexation. And you have the document in front of you. So I would be happy to entertain any questions that you may have um, with regard to the code and uh, any additions, deletions, and revisions that you would like to suggest for this code. Some of you in the audience haven't seen Lakeland is, is a round circle, like a big balloon. And I've got to tell this on Diane. Diane said, we got a tail now. <laughs> 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 so, you see, it looks like a little tail down here, but, but, but we're real proud that Lakeland has never expanded since 1925, but now it has expanded. I've had some other people talking to me about annexation uh, into the city. It's not something we're going out seeking so much as to uh, if people like to come into the city and put their property into the city for development. We're glad to listen to you and we would welcome anybody that, that's interested in doing that project. Okay, go ahead. Anybody got any questions of her? Uh, about the zoning or about the uh, land development code for the city. And, and remember too, this is a, a working document and as will undoubtedly happen when we come across zoning cases or certain things that come up in the community, we will come across situations where we're going to say, oh my goodness, what we were thinking or, you know, this should be a better way of doing that. And it will take a simple, basically, text amendment or rezoning application that will then, that is initiated by the city, that will then have to go for a public hearing, just like a normal zoning case. And um, it's very easy to amend the text when we find, and the map, when we find that there are things that need to be rectified. So what was she saying? It's not in cement. It's it's things that can become before the council and all that can be changed yes. and, and modified needed. But it gives our staff here a day-to-day -day working guide on what to do and how to do. And it's, it's all designed to protect people's property, <laughs> protect people's homes, protect the value of the property, uh, whether it be business or home. And because you know you wouldn't want somebody putting in a pig ranch next to your house, for example, you know, start raising hogs next to your house. Uh, that's about the best example I know I can give you on zoning. And you wouldn't want an all night filling station put in next to your house because most people, their, their prized possession is their home. And that, that's the number one thing that they own and possess on this earth materially is their home. So we want to make sure that the homes and businesses are protected and, and this document here will do that and help people out. And like I said, she's been over here no telling how many times and we started this in the old city hall. This project was not done overnight or over a month or two. It's been ongoing, ongoing now for close to a year and a half to that day and the council voted to to update from the 1970s. Uh, do I have any other comments on these? Any other questions? If I'm not, I ask for a motion that it be accepted as printed. I have to do a motion for each one. Okay. Okay. Do we do a motion for the land development code for the city? Do I have a motion? So, we have a public hearing, so you may want to close the public hearing. Oh, you want me to close the public hearing? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Keep me straight, Judy. Okay. I asked me by an audience if you got any comments. Do I have a... I'm going to close. I don't have to have a motion to close the public hearing. Make a motion to close the public hearing. Okay. So I have a second public hearing be closed? On the land zone. Okay. We own the land development code. Do I have a motion that the land development code be approved as printed?
friends. So I move to have a second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. Now I'm going to move to the public hearing on the land zoning map. Do I hear any further comments or questions on the land zoning from the public? Our council. Okay. Do I have a motion that we close the land City of Lakeland zoning map. So moved. And I have a second? Second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay, now, I need a motion that this is the final, final vote, final reading. I need a motion on the Lakeland City zoning map. Do I have a motion? So moved. And I have a second? Second. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Yeah. So the land development code for the city is passed and the city of Lakeland zoning map is passed. And Julia, again, thank you for all your hard work and time here. Uh, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. It was a pleasure working with you and with the staff. It was great and it's effective today. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you again. Yeah. All right, the reports, the City of Lakeland Police Department report by Chief Jeff Harrison. The mile, mile patrol was picked up a little bit because we had another officer to it. It went to 2,648, There were 95 traffic stops in the month of May with 66 traffic citations issued. Had five burglaries.
questions? Okay, sanitation report. Uh, Grace or Shirley? I'll update y'all a little on sanitation. Oh, yeah. the, of course, the job is complete down by the Threat Center. Uh, that pump has been installed. Although we're looking at the electrical panel, there's real old, and we're probably going to have to, to replace that electrical panel. And down here tonight, we, we will be voting on making a reward. Uh, the award. To the CHN, I'll take that up in a few minutes on the other one. Wooded construction is on site here in Lakeland and with subcontractor busting lines. Now, this is old Terra Car sewer line. They actually going in there and busting them out and pushing a new line in. And then some places they're making connections, new connections to home, rest of some home. So that project is, is up and going. They bought a lot of materials. It's real important that they turn in uh, over half of the expense for that project because we filed for another CDBG, which will start where this one leaves off on the east side of town, headed that way, replacing old antiquated sewer lines that's full of roots and stuff. <coughs> and that's leaking. Um, we just completed a report uh, for another permit to operate the oxidation pond. That's going in and sampling is taking place for that. We're having to take samples and uh, send them to as far away as Macon and all to get approved back. We've been having some problems with the oxidation pond. They've been working on them and uh, had a lot of rocks and so forth in our weird we've got it cleaned out and got it operating correctly we're having a lot of problems with duckweed in the oxidation pond itself these are also stopping up uh, our aerators uh, women's underwear is one of the big things i read they're made out of nylon and it's pretty that they don't tear up things that people ought not to be flushing down the commode. Uh, they flushing down the commode and they're stopping up these aerators. And an aerator is about like a big screw auger. That's what throws the air up in the pond down there. And we've got about three of them that set the motors off. And I was talking today with our engineer. They have come out with a new design on the aerators that won't stop up. So Probably I'm going to be making some, uh, some suggestions to y'all and, and we may need to start buying as they burn up, tear up, start buying some, a new type of aerator and try that. That keeps our ammonia count down and we're having a lot of trouble with high ammonia. And the only way you get rid of ammonia is through aeration. Uh, all these rains, putting a lot of fresh water in their oxidation pond, raising the levels of it. That presents problems in treatment too. Like any untreated water that goes in our oxidation, uh, we've got to put chlorine to it and to bring down the bacteria count. So that's been a strange problem the last two or three weeks. And, uh, our staff has spent a lot of time down at the oxidation pond and David Maynard's been over here a good bit working with the oxidation pond, so we've got everything under control with this minute, but it's an ongoing problem. Uh, water sewer report, water, y'all got anything about water? If we had any complaints on our water, Diana? Yes, we did. Uh, we had some complaints. Uh, Pine Street well, last week we pulled over the coronavirus and went out and we got a couple calls. We got a repair of it. It's back in operation now. There for a couple of days. It was smelling bad color. I, I had one of our oldest citizens tell me today 
she had started drinking water for the first time in years. And uh, I'm not going to say her name because she'd get mad when I say older citizens. You know, when you're in the 80s, you, you, you know you're older citizen, senior citizen, like I'm a senior citizen. But it's good that I, I have people telling me that we're back drinking Lake of Water again. And we're able to wash our clothes again in Lake of Water. 